Well, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to my Let's Play Oblivion series. This is going to be part 22, and in this episode, hopefully, we will be finishing the Thieves Guild. Take a look at the title of this video. Does it say Thieves Guild Finale? If it does, that means that we are finishing it. If it doesn't, I guess I didn't plan ahead enough, and uh, we still have more stuff to do. Anyways, okay, so let's take a look at our quest journal just to... Um Remember what we did last. I've used the arrow of extrication to activate the door and open the secret way into the palace. There's no telling where I might end up. I should take care to extinguish my lights, muffle my footsteps, and be stealthy as I enter the door. Luckily for us, all that stuff is done. We should be stealthy enough to enter this door. So let's head on into the Imperial Guard quarters. Alright, now if I remember right, this is where all the sneaky stuff starts happening. We sort of need to just be very, very, very quiet. As you can see here, we are in the midst of a billion guards. Um, that's an exact number, a billion. Okay, so yeah, there's the uh, the Hall of Epochs. I guess no one noticed this little door over there because they're using it as a fireplace. Anyways, so it looks like our quest marker is back there, so we're going to need to sneak past all these guys, which I don't think is going to be a problem. Let's open this and sort of see if there's any guards in here. I don't think so. So far, so good. What time is it, by the way? Oh, we don't know. Um, I would assume that it's nighttime because they're sleeping. I'm not sure what happens if you come here in the daytime, if they're up or not. I would think anytime you come in here, they're going to be sleeping. Okay, let's open this uh, easy lock. Alright, now we're in that central rotunda thing that we have seen before, so I'm not sure if a guard is going to be patrolling. We have to kind of keep a lookout and make sure that we don't get caught. Um, so far, so good, though. Yes, yeah, so this is basically the floor pan. Floor, uh, the floor pan? This is basically the floor pan. Plan! God, what is wrong with me? Of uh, the entire entire imperial I don't I don't know why I can't talk the entire imperial palace um, it's sort of just like this circular room type thing so let's uh, head on into the Elder Scrolls library that sounds good yes okay so if you guys have uh, not been paying attention we are trying to steal an Elder Scroll and now we are in the Elder Scrolls library so that sounds like the perfect place doesn't it steel crumpled piece of paper I'm not sure what that is let's take a look um, is it just a miscellaneous item that has no importance whatsoever? Or is it actually something that we can read? Yes, it's a miscellaneous item that has no importance whatsoever. You know what's odd? I think this guy like stops and picks up random bits of trash uh, around that guard that was up ahead. Um, yeah, okay, so we're going to have to avoid him. Um, and as you can tell, they've sort of put these little spots that are completely dark for you to hide in and I don't I think it's pretty much like impossible for him to see us now I'm not sure how far that place extends um, so we're just gonna chill here for a second and see if he he'll come back and uh, and pass us maybe not maybe we can oh I think that's his light coming over here is it I'm not sure uh, let's just move up a little bit I think we can afford to I still don't see him um, this looks like the door that we're gonna have to enter though an average lock Alright, our sneak skill has increased, which means there are people in here. Oh, I remember this room. This is a really weird room. If we come over here, there's just some guy sitting by a gate. Like, whoa, what the hell is he doing? Um, and I'm not sure if we have to go through that door, if we have to go through this one over here. Or actually, what is over here? I'm not even sure. Is it just the same thing? Huh. So, I'm not sure what this switch does. It might just open that door. Like, we might have to hit that switch, but I'm not sure. So, let's go back over here and see if we can enter that door. I'm not sure if we... If that guy will get alerted. So, let's save the game really quickly just to make sure. Alright, let's sneak up close to this door. The door is open elsewhere. Okay, yeah, so we have to go activate that switch. I'm not sure why they station a uh, blind man next to a switch. I mean, how is he going to see anyone coming? I guess his hearing's really good. Okay, but either way, let's just go ahead and hit that. You didn't hear anything. Just sit there and do your job. I guess not do your job because you're letting a trespasser just enter uh, all willy-nilly. Okay, willy-nilly. That's a word I've never said in my whole life before. Oh, he's actually gone now. What the hell? All right, let's... uh. I'm, I, you know, I honestly think that we can just sort of walk around freely now because they're all blind. Uh, but just in case, I'm going to Welcome remain. Welcome to this holy library, Lady Cameron. Okay, yeah, they believe I'm Lady Cameron. Okay, so we can exit stealth right now and uh, sort of just be led 
Here's the Imperial City City Library, though, if you want to look at that. Very ornate. Um, what the hell? Okay, uh... Is the Elder Scroll just out here that I can steal it? I'm not, I'm going to reload because I don't want to do this, but... Oh, right, I was supposed to... Okay, that was my mistake. Yeah, so what needs to happen is I'm supposed to just go in there and sit down. If you do anything else, uh, they sort of just aggro on you like so. Uh, yeah, and all of those details are in the book that the Gray Fox gives you. Um, and that's one of the other reasons I like this quest. It's not just like constantly giving you quest markers and telling you exactly what to do. This one you sort of have to rem remember. I mean, it's still not hard, obviously, but you sort of have to remember and uh, or look at that book for a reference. But anyways, yeah, so let's head on back in here they all think I'm Lady Cameron or whatever and uh, we're gonna take a sit on the reading chair I've seated myself in the reading chair now I just have to wait for them to bring me the scrolls as long as I don't speak to any of them the priest seemed to be assuming I am Celia Cameron all right so let's just wait here and hopefully they will bring us a scroll an elder scroll that we are going to steal Welcome Celia to this Cameron. Holy library, Lady I present Cameron. to you the elder scroll you requested Oh, thank you very much. Let's take a look at that. Oh, that's some good reading right there, isn't it? So we're going to take that. I have the Elder Scroll. This is the treasure of the century. My name shall be known across Tamriel for this theft. Now to get back to the Grey Fox. The way back is blocked. I'll have to go upstairs to find a way out. Even though they are blind, these monks will not be easy to sneak past. And I kind of remember that, like, they always get aggroed. Um, one thing I want to do is check these bookcases to see if there's anything. Uh, there probably is, but... Uh, I think we need to get moving before these guys notice us. Uh, let's save the game. Now I'm pretty sure they, these people are going to get aggro no matter what, but we can just sort of uh, like get the hell out. Oh god. Oh. Oh. Okay. I guess. <laughs> I guess they're not going to be auto aggro. Okay, let's just uh, leave then. The Elder Scrolls Library again. A hard lock. All right. All right, and that little uh, weird arrow moon-looking icon on the bottom right there means that we have also leveled up, which is great. I'm not sure if we can go left or right. Uh, let's go this way, though. Yes, this looks like the door. Okay, what is this? That's still the Elder Scrolls library. Wow, well, I wonder if we're going back. I'm not sure if this is the same way that we came in or not. Alright, uh, huh, it's sort of saying that we need to go, like, back through here, um, let's take a look at this local map, yeah, it's saying to go back through the store, now let's take a look, okay, yeah, so we have to go around this whole rotunda, I'm gonna go ahead and speed that up, because I'm sure you guys don't want to see me walk around the rotunda f uh, for a minute. Alright, so we have the Moth Priest's Quarters. It seems like we're going further in rather than out. I don't know why the way was blocked, anyways. Okay, so we have yet another door to go through. Uh, let's be super secret here, super careful. I think there still is going to be a guard, is there not? Let's take a look at our local map so we need to go around this whole thing again, okay. I think what's going on here is that we are ascending the the tower, like it keeps raising up a level. Um, I was never too sure. Okay, I see it go. Oh, 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 oh. Let's be very, very quiet and let this uh, moth priest by. And yes, these are indeed the same type of priests that uh, were present when we stole Sevilla's stone, the moth, the blind moths with the katanas. Um, all right, so let's uh, sneak past this guy. You know, for the main, for the last thieves guild quest, it's not really that hard to sneak. And I, I think some other quests are like harder to sneak through than this quest. Anyways, let's enter the Imperial Battle Mage's chambers. Alright, so it keeps giving us different names for these rooms, but they all seem to be the exact same. I'm, I'm guessing it's the uh, the middle section that houses these different things. Okay, like uh, the Battle Mage's quarters would be in the, this middle thing. 
All right, so let's follow this guard closely. Let's take a look at our local map. Um, it looks like we need to cross that central thing, and the door to our escape is, go is going to be at the far side of this middle section. So after you're done just taking a look around for no reason, thank you. Uh, okay, we need to go through here. Let's open this. Okay, now this is where it gets a little tough, I think. So let's save the game. And I'm pretty sure, let's close this door behind us, I'm pretty sure there's going to be someone in that opposite room. Let's take a look at all this stuff though, there sure is a lot of neat stuff. Um, none of which I want to use lockpicks to open because I'm pretty sure anytime you find a weapon like that or something, it's usually a replica and that is like worth nothing. Okay, so let's open, let's see, that's very hard. Is there anything, is there anything in this desk? I would assume a very hard lock is going to have a key somewhere, but we can still pick it. And this is very hard to... Yeah, there, I guarantee there's some key that you can find. But anyways, let's just open this. Alright, now I'm pretty sure there's going to be... Yep. He was here. Okay, um... I am going to reload that. Hopefully we will be able to sneak past... What's your name? Evangeline Bonique. Yeah, let's reload that save. Alright, so there she is. Let's try and just sneak past her. Her back is faced to us. Hopefully we'll be able to just sneak over here. Okay, and this looks like the loose crate to the old way. Now this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to save the game really quickly because this is where you can, um, you can keep the boots of spring Hill Jack if you know how to do this little trick. Basically, I think this is it. Let's go into here. I have escaped from the Imperial Palace by jumping down a chimney chute in Okada's bedroom. I hope the Royal Battle Mage won't mind my misusing his ash flu. I can only hope my fall doesn't end too abruptly. I wonder if this is what the Grey Fox said I would need the boots of spring Hill Jack for. You know what I just realized? I don't know how to do this. Um, there's a trick. I know there's a trick to do it. But, uh, yeah, see, there we go. I was assuming that we'd be able to unequip the boots at the last second, um, but I don't think that's going to work. So let's equip them really quickly. Boots of Spring Hill Jack. Okay. Um, hmm, you know what? I'm going to pause this video really quickly. I'm going to look this up because I don't want to be wrong in this information. Alright folks, so here's the thing, yeah, I, I wasn't thinking this through, I thought there was just an exploit, I, for, I totally forgot. You need to have your health high enough, or your acrobatics high enough, to survive this fall without using the boots. Now the boots just grant you that automatically, of course, um, and then they get broken, and then you can never have them. But they're really cool boots to have, and I always wanted to keep them. Um, they look lame though, look at those. Um, yeah, or you can, there is also a way you can uh, get arrested by a guard after you steal the Elder Scroll and then you will appear in prison with the Elder Scroll and the boots still in your inventory. So you can do that too. Um, basically what I'm going to try and do now is just see if I can sur survive it. I don't think I possibly can, but we're going to equip equip anything that gives us health and or acrobatics. So let's take a look at our stuff. No, uh, we'll keep that on, we'll keep that on. Uh... Let's, see, let's put that and this does acrobatics okay yeah that's that's gonna be our only hope pretty much fortify acrobatics three points I don't think that's gonna be enough though um, personality athletics fatigue health yeah but then we can't wear the uh, let's let's just keep that because I don't think the three points is gonna do much that doesn't have anything that doesn't have anything that doesn't have anything okay and do we have any potions or scrolls that will allow us to have more health uh, da, 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 da. I don't think so. Let's see if the potion of feather will do anything. I don't think it will, but just in case. And let's go into the scrolls and see if anything there will help us out. Absorb fatigue, no chameleon, no. Uh, heat shell, fire shield. I don't think so. Uh, summon day drop, no. Rufio's ghost, no. Okay. Now, I'm going to press B, we're going to fall, either we're going to die or survive, either way. I don't think that we're going to live and we're going have to have to get rid of the, the boots, which is a very sad thing indeed. Yeah, we died. Okay, well, sorry boots, you got to go. In a different playthrough, if I planned it out, I could have keep them, um, but not this one. Alright, so this time, let us go into our inventory and equip boots of... Nope, what did I just drink? I think I just drank a chameleon potion by complete accident. Okay, let's equip these boots. 
fall down this hole and survive, but unfortunately the boots will be broken, which is very sad. No. Yeah, as you can tell, uh, they're removed as soon as you fall, and uh, they're gone. And as you can see here, I guess someone didn't fare so well. He didn't have the boots, and uh, he's dead. But here we are, back in the old way. Let's equip our stuff back. There we go. And uh, I guess now we're just going to need to exit. Oh, is this actually in the beginning? I guess it's one of those things where you didn't notice that there was like a an entrance at the start that uh, it's the same thing Skyrim does a lot hopefully this will be the door that will lead to our freedom and we won't have to go through any more of this dungeon palace sewers come on alright so it looks like we're going to have to uh, go through a little section of this the sewers I believe we've already yeah we're just gonna run through it screw all this crap um, I think we've already done this yeah I've, I remember these two rotunda rooms I should you say rotunda a lot don't I okay no, don't let the slaughterfish bite my feet. No. Okay, uh, what's going on? Get up. Wow, are you serious right now? Do I have to actually walk this stupid thing? Okay. Thought it was above that. It's not. All right. Let us exit this as fast as we possibly can, and uh, tell the gray fox that we have indeed stolen an elder scroll. This looks like the exit, and I think this will take us to. Beneath the blood works. Okay, never mind. Sorry, mud crabs. Don't have time for your shenanigans. I'm just gonna bypass you along with anything else in here. Ooh, a scary ghost. Goodbye. What is that? First shield. Okay. Uh, this was a dead end, wasn't it? Mm. Nice shot. I guess we need to go through here. Hopefully, I'm going the right way. This is all the vampire stuff we passed before. I guess that signifies that we are. Why is not? Why is this not open? Maybe someone closed it. Um, no, we don't want to go there. Okay, let's take a look at our map. Where do we need to go? This looks like we went the complete wrong way. Okay. Yeah, we shot this person from that bridge, so we need to get to that bridge is basically what we're trying to do here. Um, where is a place that I did not go to? No, that's where we came from, so I guess through here. Oh, that's a weird noise. Okay. This looks like the way to go. Or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just skip to where I get out of this stupid maze. I hate this! So I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, folks. We just entered the market sewers, a different part of the um, the Imperial sewer system. I don't know why we have to go through all these new sections. I would think that we could just exit the way that we came from, but it doesn't seem that way. Um, hopefully, the exit to this whole entire place will be fairly close, however. Ooh, some elven arrows. Nice. Let's turn this crank, which should open this. And, uh, okay, what do we got up here? Where does this go? Best defense basement. Can we just... What is our current goal right now? Yeah, I think we, should just, we can just go up here and uh, exit out of the best defense. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so here we are in the best defense, which is a, a shop in the market district. We're in the basement, so we should be able to just head on in here. And it says we're trespassing. Yeah, so I guess it is uh, after dark. Oh, this is the place that we looted before, as you can tell. There are certain things missing. Okay, let's head into the market district, and we are free from all this terrible, ter all these terrible sewers and things. Oh my god, we have done it. We have an Elder Scroll in our possession now. All we have to do is go to the Great Fox and uh, show him. Okay, so I assume he's in the same place he was the last time, and that's going to be this house over here, which we've already picked the lock to, so I don't think we'll have to do it again, but I still think it's going to count as trespassing. The Great Fox is waiting inside. Thanks. All right, Gray Fox. You're back. Have a seat and tell me everything. You have the scroll. I can hardly believe it. The odds were clearly against you. Capital job. 
capital. I have spent seven years learning how to translate this scroll. Even so, I will need a while to decipher what I've sought so desperately. Uh, so what happens now? Ah, still thinking about your reward, eh? <laughs> I have not forgotten you or your loyal service to the Thieves' Guild. You'll just have to trust me. Give this ring to Countess Umbranox in Anvil. Say nothing about me to her. I need to know how she reacts to it. It may provoke anger or tears. If she asks, just tell her a stranger wanted her to have it. Then report back to me on her reaction. Okay, so we're not done yet. Uh, in fact, the quest is not even done yet. We need to go to Countess Umbranox, who we've seen before. If you remember, uh, we recommended Lex to her as her guard to get him out of our hair. And we need to hand her a ring and tell her that a stranger wanted her to have it. Very mysterious indeed. Okay, so I think we are here at a very bad time. What time is it? Yeah, 4 a.m. Let's wait 12 hours. Hopefully she'll be out in the open. There you are. What is it? Go on. Um, the stranger's ring. I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Whatever it is you want, it will have to wait until I am holding audience in the Great Hall. Wow. Okay. Uh. Stop talking. Enough. Where are you going then? Um. Yeah. So she has to be like sitting in the chair. So I guess we've waited too long. Maybe twelve o'clock would be good. So let's see, 12 would be 4 a.m., 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, there she goes. What? The stranger's ring. This ring belonged to my husband. He's been missing for over 10 years. For some reason, his name and face escape me at the moment. How did you get it? Do you know his whereabouts? Why are you showing it to me? Take it, it's a gift from a stranger. My husband's wedding ring. I never thought to see it again. What I wouldn't give to see him once more. By the power of the Elder Scrolls, I name Emmer Daraloth as the true thief of Nocturnal's cow. You're the Grey Fox? I've been betrayed! I am the Grey Fox, but you have not been betrayed. But... I am also your missing husband, Corvus. Corvus? Is it really you? Ten years I've waited for word from you. Why did you hide from me? Ten years ago I inherited this cow from the former Guildmaster of the Thieves' Guild. I became the new Guildmaster, but I also received its curse. Whoever wears Nocturnal's cow shall have his name stricken from history. Once I donned the cow, no one in all of Tamriel could recognize me. With the cow, I became the Grey Fox. Without it, I was a stranger, even to you. You mean you were unable to return? I've stood right next to you, and you didn't even know it. I cried out to you, here I am, it's me, Corvus. But you just looked at me, confused. You have broken my heart for a second time. I cannot let the infamous criminal mastermind, the Grey Fox, become the Count of Anvil. If you try to announce yourself as Corvus, I will deny you. I will deny you before the Emperor if I have to. I guessed you would say these terrible things to me. That is why I brought my friend along. From this moment forward, I renounce my life of crime forever. new guild master. The Grey Cowl is now yours. You are the new guild master of the Thieves' Guild. You will find that history has been altered tonight. Such is the power of Nocturnal's curse that lifting it can alter time itself. What is different? If Emmer Daraloth had not stolen Nocturnal's cowl, the Thieves' Guild would never have fallen on such hard times. Because of the curse, he was unable to operate in the normal world of business and society. He could only act as the guild's figurehead. That has been undone. If you go to the Imperial City, you will find that the Thieves' Guild has a guild hall on the site of the ruins of Daraloth. 
Alright folks, so we have become the new guild master. We've been given the Grey Cowl and also there is a guild, uh, a, a guild center, I guess, um, a guild headquarters where we used to go to see Armand Christophe in the Garden of Derla. So we have a lot of stuff to do. First things first, let's go explore our new guild headquarters. So, the Grey Fox, who is no longer the Grey Fox, but is now Corvus Umbernox, has given me the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal. I am now the new Grey Fox and the new guild master of the Thieves Guild. Due to the magic of the cowl, the thieves of the guild will not notice the change. However, since the curse is lifted, I can remove the cowl and be recognized as myself again. Interestingly, the cowl's magic makes it so that anyone seeing me remove the cowl does not associate me with the Grey Fox. Now, we are not given a quest objective. I think we're pretty much done, but we need to go to the Imperial City Waterfront District to see our new digs. Alright, so, history has been rewritten. I should go see the new Thieves Guild Hall in the Imperial City Waterfront. The Grey Fox, or Count Corvus as he is now known, told me that I get to run the place. And if you guys didn't understand what just happened, basically, um, the Grey Fox had the Nocturnal's Cow, which had a curse on it. He was able to get all the benefits from the cow, but also, no one could recognize who he was as a person. So, he was basically lost to the world. That's why we knew him as a stranger and nothing else. So, here we are in the Garden of Dareloth. And uh, right over here is a door that wasn't here before. Wooden door to Dare Lost's basement. Let's head inside. Okay, so this is actually the guild uh, hall now. And one thing I never liked was it's really small and it's not really that elaborate. Um, so I never really understood what the big deal was. But yeah, we do have a guild headquarters. Uh, these barrels have various things in them that we can take. And uh, yeah, there's just chests all over the place. And what's in here? Dare Lost House. It leads to Dare Lost House. And uh, back here, I believe... It's just, yeah, a room with just some random lockpicks for some reason. Um, and that's pretty much it, and I never really liked that. Um, but let's wait and see if anyone will be in here, because there will be people that go in and out of here. Okay, so I'm not seeing anybody yet. Um... We're going to head into Darylos House in a second, but first let's level up. So wait one hour and then... You have ascended level 10! You woke today with a new sense of purpose. You're no longer afraid of failure. Failure is just an opportunity to learn something new. Okay, let's put up agility, speed, and strength. And uh, I'm surprised no one's in here, but let's head into Darylos House and see what we can find. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just a house, basically. There's nothing much in here. This is always something that that uh, I never understood. Okay, so here's Armand Kristoff. Let's see if he has anything to say. You wear the shadows well, fellow thief. Uh, can we pay off my friends of bounty? I don't have one. Cool. Grey Fox? We don't talk about him in public. The Thieves Guild follows the Grey Fox. However, we make sure that most folks think he is just a myth. Okay, so they won't actually recognize us as the Grey Fox unless we put on the cow. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, let's go to our factions uh, so we can look at our title. There we go. Thieves Guild Grey Fox, which is the highest rank. Also, let's go into our inventory. There we go. The Grey Cow of Nocturnal. It only weighs two units, whatever. Fortify Sneak 25, awesome. Feather 200, really awesome. Detect Life 120, very awesome. And it's a constant effect, and we can wear it. I, I usually do my playthroughs like this, so I this is usually how I, it comes out. I'm wearing the Dark Brotherhood robes, and uh, or the Dark Hand robes, and the cowl, and it just looks so incredibly stupid. But anyways, yeah, this is an amazing item. Um, the feather is so that you can steal a lot of stuff, obviously. The Detect Life is awesome in caves and things, and uh, the sneak is, you know, wonderful. So let's see what he has to say now that I am technically the Grey Fox. As I live and breathe, the Grey Fox, it's an honor. Thank you. Uh... Yeah, see, so there's not really anything that you can do even after you become the Grey Fox like the other guilds. Um, it's just sort of like that, and then you can use the the uh, the fences to sell any stolen goods you have, and you can just go on a rampage with the Grey Fox, and I'll show you why. But we do have a Guild Master's Quarters at the top floor of Dare Lost House. Let's take a look in here. I don't believe there's really anything. Um, there is one thing, though. But yeah, 
we just got a bunch of random chests that we can use personally and uh, there's the lost histories of Tamriel which if you remember we've stolen also we have the followers of the great fox which is just a generic book and here we have Sevilla's stone very nice uh, sometimes I take this and put it in my personal house but I'm just gonna leave it here and uh, what do we got here proper lock design that's gonna raise our security we have transfer orders yeah so it basically has all of the stuff that we've done in the past which is really cool like little mementos um, what is this waterfront tax records right uh, let's see guide to anvil and I believe that's it we got the nice wanted poster there which is now a wanted poster for us isn't it and uh, that's pretty much it that's pretty much it in the thieves guild and I am indeed oh yes we need to unequip that because I'm going to show you guys Oh, that's right, there's this weird wooden door that never opens. Um, I'm going to show you guys something that you can do with the Grey Cowl, and then we will end this episode and Thieves Guild, and uh, we'll move on to bigger and better things. So let's head on outside here. Okay, for simplicity's sake, I'm going to turn the difficulty all the way down, just so this is faster. Okay, now, there's something that's really cool about the Grey Cowl that uh, you can do, and I will show you that right now. So we need to find a guard really quickly. There's Mithrendel back there, and we also passed Amuse. Of course, there's guards all over the place, but when I need to find one, there's none in sight anywhere. Um, ah, there's one. Okay, so here's the thing about the Grey Cowl. We're going to equip it. Now, this guard is going to run after us. You're wanted dead or alive, Grey Fox. <laughs> This will be easier if you're dead. Uh, and yeah, and you have a 500 bounty. You can't, you can only resist arrest. So you're always going to be followed by the guards, which kind of sucks, right? I'll make captain for this. Yeah, no, you won't. Okay, so here's the thing. Now we can do whatever the hell we want uh, under the guise of the Gray Fox. And when we take off the cow, um, all of it will be forgiven, which is really cool. It's something that's really amazing and just a really cool game mechanic they include for the Thieves Guild. So let's kill this guy. So we have a, a bounty, even though we already do have a, a bounty by being the Great Fox. Come on, dude, stop running all over the place. I need to kill you. This is, like, way harder than I thought it was going to be to kill this guy. Come on, stop. There we go. Okay, so we've killed that guy. Um, so we have murdered in Oblivion, which means that we have a bounty. And here's the thing. They're still chasing us, all those guards. But if we stop, take off the cow, they'll still be chasing us. And I believe they'll still attack us, right? Yeah. But, uh, how do you... There's a way that you can, um, here, let me pause the game really quickly, or pause the video, I'm going to have to figure this out. Alright, so the thing is, to uh, get these guys off your back, you have to yield, and to do that, I don't know if you need a shield or not. Come on, what is all this, all this jumping stuff is screwing me over this episode for some reason. Alright, let's get up here, thank you. And, uh, whoa, what are you getting hit by? Let's get this oh, that guy's in the Thieves Guild. Okay, um, yeah, so let's try this really quickly. I'm not sure if you need a shield or not, but... Uh... Do we have it? If we... Yeah, okay. So you hold left, the left trigger on the Xbox, and then you talk to a guard, and that should stop them. I'm trying to do this, but they're not making it easy. Okay, so I'm holding the left trigger, and I'm going to talk to him now. Accept your surrender. And look at that. The Imperial Watch accepts your yield, and you're basically free to go. You have no um, bounty. So the thing you can do with the Grey Cow, basically, is anytime you are going to commit a crime and you know you're going to be caught, you can do it while wearing the Grey Cow, and then take it off, and um, and you're free. So that's kind of like game-breaking, and you can steal things and do all that sort of stuff. The, the trade-off, of course, is that they're always going to be following you when you have the Grey Cow. Um, so if you're like in the Imperial City or in another town, um, it's hard to get away. But anyways, that's the Thieves Guild, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching up to this point. I think we're going to do the main quest next. Uh, leave me your suggestions below for what you guys want to see me do, but I'm probably going to be doing the main quest. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this episode. I uh, hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. Here's a Nern route to end it off. Very nice. My name's Rovana. Have a great day. Goodbye. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed watching that video. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Also, if you'd like to subscribe and or watch a video that's probably going to be related to the one that you just watched, you can click the annotations on the screen. Finally, if you want to help me grow my channel, you can also share this video on Facebook and Twitter by clicking share below the video. Regardless, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later.